preparedness it's so important to be prepared and yet i feel like so many people undervalue this so much it's important to be prepared for the day it's important to be prepared for an interview for a meeting for your job for your dinner for whatever you're going to go for life doesn't waste success on unprepared people i know luck is a big factor but really people make their own luck it's about being ready when the opportunity finds you it's about taking a moment before to think about what you're going to do. The amount of people who come to interviews and they don't even know what they're interviewing for, I just don't understand. The amount of people that show up somewhere unaware completely of what they're even doing there makes me wonder, what, why did you even come? If everyone else did the reading before or checked it or Googled it, these days it's so easy. It's amazing to see the difference in someone's thinking. Someone who is a prepared person, who does research, who thinks about what they're going to say, who writes out questions in advance, you perform so much better. I've had interviews where someone has no idea what they've come to interview for, but I've had interviews where the person has researched even me as a person because they researched the company, they know I'm the person going to do the final interview, and they've learned what I am like. It makes a world of difference, not just for something to talk about, but it shows the level of thinking. I can count on this person more. When I ask them questions in the interview, they can plan for things. You can see they've thought it through. When you show up for a meeting and you don't know what the agenda of the meeting is, how are you going to add value? How are you going to show your worth and show why you deserve to be there? It's so important to be prepared and being prepared costs nothing but time. So these days you have something as simple as Google. Find out where you're going. If you're writing a cover letter, write it suited to the company that you're applying for. If you're applying for jobs in all different sectors, you cannot use the same cover letter. If you're going to make a presentation, do not just physically make the presentation and be like, okay, I'll figure it out. Practice it, get someone's feedback. See if it's the right thing. Are you doing it in the right way? Is it answering the right questions? It's so important to be prepared. Even every morning, you should know what you're going to do that day. What are the important tasks? Where are you going physically? What is needed of you? Do you need to plan in the morning that I need to buy milk on the way home? You need to be able to be prepared for your life because being able to anticipate something helps you plan for the future. If you can use your historical knowledge, use the knowledge that's available to you now, whether you Google something or ask someone a question, you can plan better for the future so that you're more effective. You appear more professional. Your life is more organized. That's why when opportunity comes, the one who is prepared is the one who is going to get the deal, the one who's going to get the job, the one who's going to get the promotion, the one who's going to get the success. Even in social settings, if you just show up at someone's birthday dinner, you don't know who is going for the dinner, you didn't know where the dinner was, you've even come late because you had forgotten about the dinner, you've gotten lost because you didn't check where it was, then there are all kinds of people who you say, hey, I should have brought your shirt that I borrowed last week. I didn't know, I didn't think. It just it makes someone's life so different you can really tell an organized prepared person and someone who doesn't very very easily and especially in a work perspective it's so much easier to trust the person who prepares who thinks things through who anticipates oh there's nothing sweet like an employee who anticipates something in their job they don't wait for oh this has happened what do we do they'll be like last time this happened let me prepare and anticipate it let me have the things ready rather than wait for the customer to ask and have to go to the store because i know on tuesdays these kinds of customers come preparedness it adds so much value and it's such an easy habit that you can practice and add small things five minutes before you get anywhere five minutes or ten minutes in the morning makes a huge impact on your life be prepared